Vampires vs. Gargoyles, Veil of Vengeance. In a realm where shadows stretched long and secrets lingered in the mist, an ancient vampire coven had thrived in quiet serenity for centuries. A lineage steeped in enigmatic history, their existence was a testament to the ebb and flow of centuries, their ethereal presence woven into the very fabric of the night. Guided by a code of honor as old as the stars, they navigated the intricate balance between their insatiable thirst for life and the timeless wisdom of their age. Each member of the coven bore the weight of ages in their gaze, their eyes reflecting the secrets they had witnessed and the knowledge they had gathered through the passage of time. United by a shared reverence for their origins, the coven remained a bastion of resilience, their unity unbreakable as they sought to navigate a world that often forgot the shadows held their own stories. Unbeknownst to them, a distant group of gargoyles watched with wary eyes hidden among the corners of darkness. The gargoyles had dwelled in the recesses of forgotten cathedrals and ancient structures, their stone forms imbued with eternal vigilance. Carved into the fabric of ancient cathedrals and hidden within the crevices of weathered monuments, the group of gargoyles bore witness to the evolution of worlds, their cold gazes betraying a depth of knowledge and an unyielding determination to protect the realms they called home. The Vampire Coven's existence had long been a thorn in their side, a reminder of the world's shift toward modernity. Rumors began to stir, whispers of the Coven's plans to expand and reshape the land, casting the gargoyles aside as mere relics. One moonlit night, amidst the hushed conversations of bats and the rustle of leaves, the gargoyles learned of the coven's impending decision to demolish them. Infuriated by the perceived injustice, they embarked on a path of retaliation, each stone figure animated by a collective sense of vengeance. The night air was charged with tension. As the gargoyles descended upon the coven, their silent wings a harbinger of doom. The vampires, awakened from their repose, found themselves under siege. One by one, the gargoyles hunted them down, each encounter ending in a swift, merciless victory for the stone assailants. Panic spread among the coven, their unity shattered by the relentless onslaught. It was amidst this turmoil that Klaus Michelson emerged, a figure known for his bravery and his unwavering loyalty to his kind. Katie told Klaus, Klaus, you must have to protect us. Find a way to stop these nuisances. Determined to save his coven, Klaus took it upon himself to negotiate with the gargoyle group. With the moon hanging low and shadows flickering in the moonlight, Klaus approached their leader, his voice carrying an air of measured determination. Klaus told, Stop this madness. We can find a way to coexist to share this land. The gargoyle leader, Eyes like ancient stone reflecting the silver light regarded Klaus with cold skepticism. You offer words, vampire, but your actions speak louder. Your coven's plans to eradicate us show your true intention. Klaus's gaze never wavered. Our intentions may have been misunderstood, but I am willing to make amends. Let us find a way to preserve our histories and our homes. The gargoyle leader's stony expression remained unchanged. Your words hold weight, but trust is a fragile thing. With negotiations faltering, the clash between vampires and gargoyles escalated. The battle raged under the moon's gaze, an epic struggle that painted the night sky with arcs of fire and shadow. Vampires and gargoyles clashed with a ferocity born of desperation, the very earth quaking beneath their wrath. Klaus, his determination burning like an inferno, fought with unparalleled fervor. The clash of steel against stone resounded through the air, and each strike was a testament to his unyielding resolve. Through the midst of battle, as the moon hung low and blood stained the earth, Klaus's relentless determination bore fruit. One by one, the gargoyles fell. 
their stone forms shattering into fragments that crumbled into dust. The air grew heavy with the scent of victory, a triumph that came at a great cost. Klaus stood amidst the wreckage, his chest heaving, his eyes a mix of weariness and relief. As dawn's light began to break through the horizon, the ancient vampire coven emerged from the shadows, survivors of a night of terror. Klaus's courage had secured their existence, his actions having written a new chapter in their history. With the echoes of the battle still resounding in their hearts, the coven returned to their home, forever changed by the events that had unfolded. In the aftermath, Klaus's name echoed in the whispers of the wind, a hero who had united two disparate worlds through sacrifice and determination. And as the sun painted the sky with hues of gold and rose, the land was forever altered, a tapestry woven with the threads of courage, conflict, and the enduring power of hope.